All Digico consoles come with dual solo buses. These make it convenient to mix monitors to both wedges and in-ears accurately. They can also offer some great flexibility for front-of-house monitoring. Let's first look at how you can select between two solo buses. Select the AUX output fader bank to the work surface. Press the appropriate LCD function button and the display above fader number 2 should now say Solo Choice. Pressing the button beneath this display will toggle between the following options. Solo 1 Solo 2 Solo 1 and 2 The Solo Bus assignment can be altered on all channels and bus outputs to offer user flexibility. It is also possible to select some options for each solo bus on the console and your monitor preferences. Select the master screen by pressing master screen. You will notice a solo option at the top of the screen. Pressing this will open up a solo setup panel for solo 1 and solo 2. Not all the options are covered in this section, just the ones to get you started. Multi-mode. This allows multiple solos to be pressed at any one time. Single mode. In this mode, only one solo can be assigned at any one time. When the next solo is pressed, it will automatically cancel the previous solo. No solo. This allows you to select the signal that is routed to the solo output when no solo buttons are selected. This could be the master bus or maybe the lead singer's aux bus. Headphones. This routes the solo bus to the headphone output. There is a dedicated section of the work surface allocated to the solo buses. Located on the surface are some of the solo options as well as a dedicated trim control for solo one output. The second rotary in this section is default set to a master bus trim. This, however, can be allocated to the Solo 2 trim if preferred. This is performed in the Solo 2 panel by pressing the Assign to Master level. On the work surface, there is a clear LED indication showing the current function of the rotary. Solo in place. This is switched on the work surface by pressing and holding in the SIP button on the work surface solo section. This completes the getting started section of the program and you should now be confident of getting signals in and more importantly out of your SD9. Please take some time to have a practice with the assignment and speed of getting around the work surface. There is a lot more flexibility and power in the console than is covered in this section, but details on these are explained later on.